and we have a lot of questions also for him live from London shortly. Now, the Kenya Human Rights Commission, together with more than 14 civil society groups, have differed with the recent InfoTrack poll, which gave President William Ruto a grade C rating for his first year in office. As the president concludes his first year, the group says they have observed a string of unkept promises and persistent impunity from the government, including corruption, capture of independent offices, uncontrollable public debt, and of course they listed their police brutality and resource management, mismanagement, among others. Willie Lusiga reports on why the civil society gave the president a four out of ten. Hi. William Samoei Ruto. Civil societies have rated President William Ruto led government below average and they believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. Kenya Kwanzaa's first year in office brings to light a series of unfulfilled promises, a prevailing culture of impunity, a continuation of the campaign posture and the discordant governance experienced in the previous administration. Uh, out of 10, Neza Patia is a kama four. More than 14 civil society groups have noted that despite the initial efforts to correct past governance errors, these attempts have been overshadowed by what they term as deliberate constitutional violation, empty rhetoric, and abuse of human rights. Despite their initial efforts to rectify past governance errors, these attempts are overshadowed by deliberate constitutional violations, empty rhetoric, abuse of human rights, and perpetuation of state demography. They have outlined Ruto's governance failures, top among them rampant corruption and withdrawal of pending graft cases linked to high-profile individuals by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, or DPP. Corruption therefore remains at the core of this administration's operations. Kenya Kwanzaa regime accused of capturing independent bodies such as the political parties and independent commissions and offices. The government has also been accused of getting the taxpayer into untamed public debt and exposing Kenyans to a high cost of living despite pledges to alleviate their suffering. Just the first seven months of the current government's tenure, the public debt ballooned to 9.63 trillion. Police brutality has also been noted to be on the rise, extrajudicial killings and forced disappearances between the month of March and August 2023 was also noted. It's becoming apparent, however, that there has been an, a reconstitution of a police killer squad that has been targeting innocent Kenyans. Yuzi tumekuwa na mkutano mkubwa sana hapa KICC kama Kenya tume host. Wale wenye wana pollute ndo wenye wanazungumza, ndo wenye wanaongea kulipa, wanalipa nani? Na umu wenye analipua, anasauti ya kusema nilipeni hii na anaelewa. The government has been accused of land and natural resources mismanagement. They further claim that the national land management information system continues to be a mirage. Kuna multinational mbali mbali zanye zinafanya conservancies. Tunataka kuuliza wale wat nye jamii zile penye kuna community led conservancies. Wanaelewa ni biashara gani inafanyika kwa hizi community led conservancies kwa community land na wanaelewa kama kuna pesa inatoka wako na sauti ya kusema ni ngapi imetoka. Juzi maneno ya Finance Act imeleta out yo maneno ya public housing. Itawekwa kwa public land. I public land iko wapi? Na conversion iko wapi? I conversion from any other type of regime to public land iko wapi na national land commission is the constitutional commission kwa hivyo haiwezi badilishiwa kazi yake bila mpangilio kufata they have also pointed out to other failures including the lack of freedom of media failure to address unemployment and public education system that is on the brink of collapse one year after president william ruto took power and governmental organization and human rights groups are now saying that president has failed to deliver what he promised to kenyans out of 10 they're now giving him four in that rewarding scale but eyes are set to see if the president in his second year will be able to deliver the promises that he gave to kenyans will this news nairobi right so away from that